Hello, everybody. Coming to you live from Valley Remote. Um, I've got my uh, old spare eight track here hooked up to face to uh, Facebook, so so I should be able to catch a few of the comments now and again, if I can remember. Glad to be here, and uh, here coming to you live from on the uh, McGlynn's Facebook page. Have to be playing on that page on, for that bar. It's uh, nearly 50 years since I first played in that bar, so I'm, I'm delighted to be asked to play on this site. Um, and it's uh, it's uh, being uh, supported by the uh, um, White Hag Brewery right here in Valley Boat. Also glad to have them on board. And uh, we're playing tonight in support of the Neurology Support Center here in Sligo. Uh, great folks and they're for helping uh, people and their families for all the various neurological diseases. Um, and uh, check them out on neurologysc.ie. And uh, once again, glad to have folks like that that are looking after our well-being. So we'll start off with a song that uh, I've been singing since a teenager, and it's The Roving Gambler.
very much, The Roving Gambler. Um, right, next. This is the same old man living at the mill. The mill turns around of its own free will. pace a little bit now with a, a set dance um, called Mount Fabus Hunt. I think there might be a few different hunts, um, but uh, this one I originally learned one version of it back around 1971 or 70, sometime around then. But this one I got from my good friend Leonard Berry, the Mount Fabus version of the tune.
much. Uh, let's uh, change it a little bit. Check my mail here. See, is there anybody telling me that uh, my face isn't clean or any other important items like that? No, looking good. Um, so, and next uh, is a song that uh, Randy Newman wrote. He's one of my favorite songwriters, and uh, he has an irreverence that uh, sometimes you need to bear in mind a little bit, because <laughs> he, he likes to get a little bit edgy, and, and his tongue is sort of permanently uh, grafted into his cheek, some of those things. But anyway, this is, this is one of my favorites of his, and it's called The Old Kentucky Home. Dark and time, dandelion wine, I'm turning the corner and I'm doing fine. I'm shooting at the birds on the telephone line, picking them off with this gun of mine. I got a fire in my belly, a fire in my head, I'm going higher and higher till I'm dead. Oh, the sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home, and young folks roll on the floor. tunes. The first is a slow air called Shifa Mavura, which I guess translates to something around the cause of my sorrow or despair. And follow that up with uh, Neil Gow's Farewell to Whiskey. And it's played here in Ireland mostly as a, as a, uh, I guess as a, uh, a polka. But it was originally written as a Lament was written by Neil Gow in 1799, and I always thought, I always heard that he uh, wrote the tune, that he was, he, I think he may have been like an itinerant musician, 
traveling around the big houses, kind of like Carolyn did here in Ireland. And uh, uh, the story that I heard was that he had had a, a rough night with drink and decided to give it up and, uh, and wrote this tune, uh, Farewell to Whiskey, on account of it. And the next year, when he was uh, around in the same house again and the bottle came out, the, the host recalled that he had given up drink and passed him up and not knowing he had long since gone back to drink and he immediately on the spot composed the tune Neil Gow welcomes whiskey back again which is another tune but I looked it up and apparently that's not the story at all in 1799 the barley harvest failed in Scotland and England passed a law banning the use of barley in whiskey for that year. And Neil Gow wrote the lament, farewell to whiskey, because they couldn't make it that year. And the next year or so, when the harvest was good and they permitted whiskey being made again with barley, that's when he wrote, Neil Gow welcomes whiskey back again. So, both good stories. But start off with Shea Farmer Wood.
let's see here. I did another song now that uh, I sang when I was a kid, and uh, it's nice to go back to these old, these old songs once in a while. Um, and it's a song I first learned from an old Carter family record. is hanging in and uh, uh, all you folks here in Ireland are enjoying the chance to uh, to uh, dig deep into our isolation and behave ourselves and I hope you've picked out some nice books for these for the coming winter when we'll be when we'll be uh, sheltering in and avoiding all kinds of frivolity outside but uh, that's all right. We keep on motoring. Um, uh, next, uh, this uh, next song here is, uh, it, uh, I think the earliest version of this song was, uh, printed version was in the late 1700s in Dublin, and it's The Girl I Left Behind Me. Uh, song is well known in, in America and Ireland and England and Lots of different versions, uh, marching bands, fife and drum bands in the, in the States play it. It's played here in Sligo as, as a polka. 
uh, and um, but uh, the uh, the the version I'm going to do now is uh, one called uh, it was actually called Johnny Gooden, and it was uh, it was played and recorded in the in the, I think the 1920s or 30s by the grandfather of uh, Jim and Jesse McReynolds, who are a well-known well-known uh, bluegrass duo. Uh, and uh, he played it just, the grandfather played it just as the first part, didn't play the second part of the tune. But the words in his version uh, were very close. Some of them were, came all the way back from the original printed version in the, in the late 1700s. Uh, there's lots of different versions of the tune. There's different, different songs that have uh, different names, different lyrics, but the same melody or lots of different uh, uh, different melodies with the same words. One of these songs that have been around so long that they've just kind of spread out and struck roots and gone every which way. Uh, another version of this song, or the melody anyway, is uh, the Irish song, um, Hans Palpine Fana, uh, which has a lovely melody and two parts to it. So I might throw in a bit of Spalpine Fana just to round the tune out a little bit. So this is... Uh, the girl I left behind me. Support Center. It's folks like this that keep us alive and happy. Um, their website again is neurologysc.ie and uh, they're doing a great job out there in Sligo. Um, thanks again to uh, White Hide Brewery for keeping us from being too parched and uh, Thanks all to Jim McGlynn's for hosting us. I'm looking forward to coming out there in the flesh one of these days. 
pretty soon. So um, finish off with a couple of reels. And uh, first one is called McQueen, Lull Queens. And the second one, uh, I guess, might be Lady on the Island. Once again, thank you all very much. <laughs> Good night out.